Life for Japanese Americans After World War II. In 1944, the executive order that had seen nearly 112,000 Americans of Japanese ancestry imprisoned in internment camps was lifted. It was announced that in 1945, Japanese Americans would be resettled in various cities across America. However, the attitudes toward Japanese resettlement were deeply divided. In New York City, for instance, Mayor LaGuardia sent a strongly worded letter to the Interior Secretary saying that they were not welcome in New York. In Seattle, Japanese American opposition groups campaigned strongly for support to prevent them from returning home. Despite opposition, with some support, most Japanese Americans resettled on the West Coast. Unfortunately, though they have gained their freedom, what was waiting for them was heartbreaking. Many had outright lost their homes and businesses. Even if they did still have their properties, they came home to find them ransacked and vandalized. Still, they worked on rebuilding their lives. 44 years later, through the Civil Liberties Act of 1988, the United States made an official apology and offered reparations for the quote, race prejudice, war hysteria, and a failure of political leadership that led to the unjust internment of Japanese Americans. Today, the robust and celebrated Japanese community on the West Coast is a testament to the resiliency of Japanese Americans. However, we must never forget what happened lest history repeats itself. Please visit densho.org to help keep this story alive.